Hey everyone, this is part two. And basically, I'm still discussing the narcissist, uh, the no contact with the narcissist. So when you go no contact with the narcissist, that literally means no contact with the narcissist. I've been no contact for quite a while now. And I have literally not contacted him. He has been contacting me. He's been contacting me through social media. I've shut him down, like I said in the previous video. He's been completely shut down. I'm not playing games. I have basically shut him down on all freaking levels. Coming at the wrong one with that mess. Okay? So, sometimes when we come out of relationships... Like I told you all, I was married to a narcissist for 16 years. Sometimes it's hard. I mean, it's hella hard to figure out who a narcissist is. Because sometimes those mother freakers, and I said mother freakers, they hide very well. And they study us. Um, this dumb mother freaker thought I was uber religious. Anyone that knows me knows I am not uber religious. I'm far from it. I believe in God. I do. But I'm also spiritual. Okay? And I know that God is a good God. But I also know that I have an open mind. And I'm not going to close my mind. Narcissist. I'm not going to close my mind. So basically, the narcissist contacted me today. And I can't remember her name, but she's on TikTok and she's on Facebook and YouTube. And I will get her name. Um, basically, I'll get her handle and I'll uh, include it in the next video. Basically, she talks about how the narcissist will use ex-wives, ex-girlfriends, sisters, baby mamas, whatever to contact you that happened to me today he used the girlfriend to contact me girlfriend slash side chick the new girlfriend slash side chick he used her to contact me today to show me what a tiktok video should look like mother freaker i don't need you Okay, I don't need you to show me what a TikTok video look like. What do I look like? I'm more confident than you are. Now, get it.